Here are crocus flowers exhibiting the ability of, of plants to respond to their surroundings and their conditions. On a cold, wet, windy day when there's no insects around, the crocus flowers close over. When it comes sunny and their insect pollinators will be on the wing, they open up. Now being an early spring plant, they need to hasten the ripening of their pollen, so the shiny inside of the petals there helps to focus the heat against the pollen, helps to, to cause it to mature, also helps to attract the insects in. And uh, if there is any uh, scent present, then the volatility of the scent is increased by the raised temperature caused by the focusing effect of the petals. It's a little bit similar to what you get in the daisy. Uh, the daisy's name comes from Day's eye. He's a rather miserable specimen here. But the daisy opens and closes, so it's the eye of the day. It shuts at night time, opens during the day. So masses of pollen present there on the stamens. So if the weather changed, then these will suddenly close over. Well, not suddenly, slowly but surely. Another plant that gets its name from this effect is the jack go to bed at noon. It's not an uncommon plant. And it closes at midday. So a good indicator of the time, generally. And the idea, reason for that is that it, the insects that pollinate it are only present up until midday. So it closes to prevent the wrong insects from getting in. These are the same crocuses on a wet, windy day with low light levels. They're all practically closed up. What some plants do, some flowers do, to prevent rainwater getting into the pollen making it wet and therefore not able to be spread by insects is to have very narrow tubes at the base. Things like uh, primroses do that. It stops the water from actually getting in. So you have wee pools of water, but those pools of water are above where the pollen and where the stigma, the female part of the plant, are located. So here the pollen inside is dry. They'll only open up again when it becomes sunny and warm.